Hey robot fans, today we're going to soup up these two power wheels by doubling the voltage going to the motors and adding in a digital Arduino based parental speed control system so our kids don't kill themselves. Right? It's important. Very important. My buddy Raf is joining me on this build. Raf is a video maker over at Squeaky Thinger Productions. He'll be shooting a lot of this video as well, which is why it's going to look so much better than most of my other videos. He brought over his son's 6 volt Lightning McQueen car, which we are going to convert to 12 volts. I recently picked up this Power Wheels Jeep from my local Craigslist. This is already 12 volts, so I'm going to double that up to 24 for some serious speed. Like I said, it's important our kids don't lose total control here, so we are adding an Arduino-based parental control, which I am going to call the Happy Wife Circuit. Doubling the voltage is nothing mind-blowing. Raf is going to switch out his 6-volt battery for a 12-volt battery, and I'm going to swap out my 12-volt for two 12-volts wired in series. The real trick is going to be adding a digital controller to the analog Power Wheels circuit. So let's take a look at the way these cars operate. The batteries are connected to the motor through a series of switches, the first of which is the throttle. When the gas pedal is pressed, it completes the circuit on down the line. When the gas pedal is off, it actually has a resistor circuit that shorts all the motors to ground. This acts as a pseudo brake and also helps the cars from rolling down hills at top speed. Next up is the gear shifter, which in itself is a pair of switches. One switch reverses the polarity of the power going to the motors, which gives us our reverse function. The other is a high-low switch, which changes the wiring of the motor from a parallel connection to a series connection, just like our batteries. When the motors are wired in series, the incoming voltage is divided between the motors, which essentially cuts their output in half. The shifter is designed to activate these switches or groups of switches to give us a low speed setting, high speed setting, and a low speed reverse. This can all get very confusing, so rather than mess with all of that, we're going to add just a touch of digital control to the top of this system here via the happy wife. The batteries are going to run through this BTS7960 controller before hitting the analog circuit. The BTS7960 will act as a PWM controller when paired with an Arduino. A PWM, or Pulse Width Modulation Controller, outputs a square wave of power. This basically means that the controller turns the motor on and off really, really fast, like hundreds of times per second fast. The ratio of time in which the motor is on versus the time in which it's off is called the duty cycle. The resulting interpretive voltage going to the motors will mimic this duty cycle. So 24 volts at a 50% duty cycle will result in a 12 volt output. 67% would give you 16 volts, etc, etc. We can set these values in the Arduino code and manipulate it with a user input. On RAF's car, the user input will be a knob, and we're going to map that knob from 6 volts to 12 volts by mapping the PWM from 50% to 100%. My car is going to be a little bit different. I'm going to use different sets of jumpers to set the duty cycle. This way, if my 2-year-old makes it under the hood, he'll have a little tougher time figuring out how to get to ludicrous speed. With these local circuits built, we can start to install everything into the cars. I built this compact little mount that holds everything and fits nicely just under the hood of the Jeep and is secured with some M5 bolts. Before we hook the power up to the boards, I'm going to run it through this 30 amp circuit breaker. If a bunch of kids decide to hop on for a ride, we can get some serious amp draw from those motors and I'd rather cap that at 30 than risk melting my poor happy wife. As far as vehicle operation, the only real difference between the stock power wheels and these upgraded ones is a power switch for the circuit. If we keep our happy wife in the loop, she will just run constantly and very slowly eat up all the batteries. I added a toggle under the hood of Raf's car, which turns the system on and off. For my car, I bought a key switch, so now the kids have to turn a real key to get the Jeep on, which I thought was super cool. I also added an indicator LED for more super cool. And with our happy wives installed, it's time to test out our speed controllers. Okay, so here's the car at 6 volts. And if we start turning the knob... Now it's running at 12 volts. <laughs> we'll turn it back down. Here's 12 volts. Here's 16 volts. Here's 20 volts.
And here's a nice gentle 24 volt. <laughs> that brake is a killer. Bonk. <laughs> the whole thing is flexing. <laughs> Torque. And through a series of fortunate events, we got our hands on another Power Wheels Jeep, so we were able to do a side-by-side -side stock versus modified Power Wheels drag race. Despite the uneven start, I think it's pretty clear to see who the victor is on this one. <laughs> So there you have it. Happy kids, happy wives, and happy dads on Father's Day. That's going to do it for this video. Be sure to like and subscribe and all that good stuff, and I will see you guys next time.